Hi folks, we've been busy researching bass guitars under $500 to help you figure out what you need to make your best audio and video content and stay on budget. Links to all the products in the review are in the description box below where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. Now before I move on, we'd love to hear what bass guitar you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best bass guitars under $500. The fifth product on our list is the Ibanez GSR200. The Ibanez GSR200 is a four-string bass guitar at a sub-$200 price point. It features an Agathis body with a one-piece maple neck and a Jatoba fretboard on top. This bass guitar was designed with easy playability in mind. The medium-sized frets and slim neck make it easy to play. There are also pearl-like dot inlays to help you keep track of where you are on the fingerboard. The GSR200 weighs a mere 9 pounds or 4 kilograms, making it a great base for casual jam sessions or practice. It has two pickups on the body with their own independent volume. The single coil and split bridge pickups share a single tone knob. An interesting feature of this guitar is the built-in FAT2 EQ knob, which gives your sound an extra bass boost. You also get the standard 22 frets, which lets you make the most of your bass guitar. The Ibanez GSR200 is a perfect bass for beginners. For its affordable price point, you get a wonderfully built bass guitar. The fourth product on our list is the Yamaha TRBX174. The Yamaha TRBX174 is an electric bass guitar with a sleek and classic design. It has an affordable price tag at a little over $200 depending on your colour choice. This is a full-sized bass with 34-inch scale length and 24 frets in total. The body is mahogany which contributes to its light and well-balanced nature. It weighs in at just under 9 pounds or around 4 kilograms, making it comfortable to play sitting or standing up. The neck is maple wood which feels solid and easy to hold even if you're playing fast. The TRBX174 features chrome hardware and four adjustable saddles. The control knobs are made of hard plastic but they aren't wobbly. The Yamaha bass features two passive pickups that are in the PJ configuration. J is for jazz bass style and P is for precision style pickup. This is a great addition for beginners who are looking to explore different tones in their sound. Yamaha doesn't cut corners with sound quality. The TRBX174 has a good range of tones from crisp trebles to smooth lows. With the P and J pickups you can also achieve bright highs or a deep bass sound. Overall, this is a great bass guitar if you're looking for the quality that Yamaha offers at an affordable price. The third product on our list is Sterling by Music Man Stingray Ray 4. Sterling by Music Man's Stingray Ray 4 is a bass guitar that warrants a double take. Its unique egg-shaped pickguard is the signature design of the Stingray. It has a basswood body which is lightweight. The contour of the guitar is nice with the top edge beveled for a comfortable playing experience. The neck and fretboard are both made of hard maple which gives a crisp and precise sound. There are 21 medium sized frets on it which gives you plenty of range. There is a curved chrome control plate on the front panel of the base. You'll find three metal knobs that handle volume and the onboard preamp. The Ray 4 has a low noise humbucker that emphasises high tones while still producing a warm and rich sound. On board there's a two band EQ and a preamp which lets you boost or cut either the high or low frequencies. Playing on the Ray 4 is a fun and comfortable experience with lots of room for customisation. It has that bass sound that you can tweak according to the genre you're playing. This is a bass guitar for anyone looking for a reliable bass that's versatile and won't let you down. The second product on our list is the Fender Squire Affinity Precision Bass. Squire by Fender's Affinity Precision Bass is a versatile guitar that combines a high quality build and sound at a sub $300 price tag. You get the standard Fender style for the body which is made of alderwood. The neck is C-shaped maple with a rosewood fretboard on top. The intonation is just right so you'll have no problem playing this bass right out of the box. The bridge is a fixed vintage style setup with four adjustable saddles. On the headstock you have a set of die cast tuning machines. The Affinity Bass has a PJ combo with a great amount of clarity and output. You also get controls for tone shaping and a master tone knob. 
The precision and jazz pickups provide you with a ton of tonal options. Overall, you get a great guitar with Fender quality and design. This is a perfect entry-level bass guitar. Squire by Fender's Affinity Precision provides flexibility and room for growth in your playing style. The first product on our list is Sterling by Music Man Sub Ray 5. Sterling by Music Man's Stingray 5 offers great value in this 5 string bass guitar. The guitar is sturdy and well constructed, the gloss coated bass wood body looks classic. The front and rear are contoured with extended cutaways for convenient access to upper frets. The neck is maple with a satin finish and clean fret ends. This bass offers you the classic tones of higher priced Stingray guitars. You get a thunderous bottom end and round tones. You have EQ controls which lets you tweak your sound by cutting or boosting different frequencies. With five strings, you'll be able to hit lower notes, which gives you flexibility over genre. Recording is a breeze with the Stingray 5, you can easily get clean audio while playing. The low noise humbucking pickup contributes to the great sounds you can draw out from this bass. Overall, if you're looking for a beginner level guitar that can go with you or an everyday practice bass, then Sterling by Music Man's Stingray 5 is a great buy. And there you have it folks, the 5 bass guitars under $500 that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like. And if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, here are a couple that we think you'll enjoy. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.